there's one thing I think Satan doesn't enjoy. It's God's people trying to be obedient, and he's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. There were a lot of really beautiful parts of the last, you know, four or five years, but, um, but in those, I think, times of difficulty, we were just really grateful that we knew that we knew that he had called us. I think God's hand covered us, and I think it takes a body of believers to make that happen. It's weird, right? He's all powerful, I'm all knowing, um, but he asks us to, to pray for one another, to ask for what we need, uh, and he delights in answering those prayers. And we had so many circumstances that should have gone really bad. And there were many things, um, even uh, security-wise, safety-wise, that uh, we could, things could have gone really poorly. And um, by the narrow miss of a couple hours, you know, of, of being late or of being, you know, that things didn't. And um, I know that that had to do with prayer coverage. You could feel it. Yeah. You could, you could feel it. It was, it bizarre. was yeah. So you'd, you'd have like a month or two and you wouldn't hear from any of your supporters at all. And you'd have something, a really rough day, and you'd hear from like three people out of the blue. Mm -hmm. And it's like, all right, Lord. And it's not complicated. It's not like they sent us these miraculous yeah. theological pieces of encouragement. It's just, hey, you're on my heart today. I'm praying for you. We just experienced God's presence going before us over and over and over. And there were times that I almost felt guilty where I'm like, I am receiving a disproportionate amount of <laughs> prayer, and um, but I need it. I can't be here without it. And I'm so incredibly grateful. I don't think you can overemphasize how important the Sydney Church is. And I'm both your church, for us, the well, um, and the body of believers that are around you and all the connections you made over your life. I just was always amazed at the different people that God called to pray for us specifically. And David had said before, some of those were people that knew us really well. Some of those were people that I hadn't met until I stood on the stage and was introduced as extended family. God had called me to Ethiopia and he had called that person to, to, pray, for to pray for us consistently without ceasing. We saw both safety covering over our family, emotional cover, covering over our family. We saw people come to know the Lord, and we saw miraculous things. None of those were separated from prayer. And the people here, their pra prayers matter just as much as folks that are local. Mm -hmm. And so pray for your missionary friends, and pray for the people they're interacting with, and send them text messages when you think about them, because chances are they're having a hard day. Um, so we, we got to see it. But you learn over and over in the mission field that he doesn't need you at all. Uh, it's the blessing of getting to participate in what he's doing already. Um, and I think the faster he can strip away all the things you think were important, um, the easier it'll be to serve in a way that is the way he intended.